Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a Hispanic Mexican grocery haul. So let's get started. I went to a Hispanic supermarket in my area and because um, I wanted to do some videos today. Um, later on after this video, I'm going to be showing you a video on how to make sofrito, Puerto Rican style sofrito. And then later on, I'm going to be doing um, some cooking videos. Um, and I was just in the mood to make homemade sofrito because instead of just buying sofrito I could just make it so anyway let's get started the very first thing I picked up was three packs two of these are small and one is like a bigger one chicken thighs and they have the bone in them but they were really cheap so I just grabbed them there's no limit there they have bleaches like Dollar Tree they have the whole thing of bleach pine saw they have toilet paper paper towels the mask the gloves water no limit they have everything and they keep showing the advertisement on Facebook, and um, yeah, I've been there before, so I figure why not? I'm in the mood to make sofrito, so let me just go shopping. So I bought the chicken. I just picked up some chicken patties, just cheap, simple chicken patties. And then part of the sofrito recipe um, takes these big, sweet uh, Italian peppers. Now, if you can't find these, you can use the regular red and yellow or the orange type of sweet peppers that you can find in your grocery store. But over there, like I said, this goes with the sofrito. So these are Italian Italian sweet peppers. So they're the long, good, the good ones. So this is what I'm going to use with the sofrito recipe later. This is culantro, which is the one with the big leaves. If you can say, it looks like cilantro, but it's culantro. Um, this is the cousin of the cilantro, and it has a different taste. Um, I don't like cilantro, so I, with the sofrito recipe, it takes cilantro, but I don't like cilantro. I hate the taste of it. I hate the smell of it. I don't want it in my food, so I avoided the um, cilantro, um, and I'm glad that they didn't have any more. They sold out, but I found the culantro for that. I got two of these again. These are the big frozen discos. You get 10 in each, and these are for making batalios which they do in Puerto Rico. So I'm going to make some patalillos again. Um, I did it a, a couple days ago, um, and I didn't do the video, but I might do that soon. Um, later down the line, I'm going to be doing a whole lot of cooking videos again. I do Chinese food. I do American, Italian, Korean. I do um, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Cuban, you know, all kinds of food. So, And I also do Hungarian, um, some European dishes. I make casseroles and soups, desserts, fancy cakes, you name it. I do it all. But um, I haven't got around to all that because I'm always busy. I've been doing a lot of just mainly hauls. So today I'm going to do a sofrito video and a cooking video. But anyway, I picked up two of these. Um, like I said, the discos. These are make patalillos. So I got some of these. And I can make patalillos in different ways. You can do cheesesteak. You can do chicken, ham and cheese, lunch meat. I do pizza ones. You could do plain cheese by itself. You could do breakfast. It doesn't matter. I like to do all kinds of shit with um, with these. So I make them um, batalios. Then I just picked up one stick. Uh, this is a different brand. I believe this one is from Santo Domingo. Um, I'm not sure, but this is smoked salchichon. And salchichon is like a big salami, like it's hard. And I like to cut these up and put this in rice, or you can put it in beans, whatever. So I picked up one of these. This was $2.99. And it's from a brand called Fiesta. Then I found these two over there. These are from Noor. Noor is a really good brand. They're full of flavor. I was really happy to find this one. This is jamon, which is the ham. Ham-flavored bouillon cubes. And I use a lot of these in my cookings and beans, all kinds of stuff. So, um, yeah, I picked up another one of jamon. Um, little Noor. These are cubes. And then I picked up this one. This is uh, just plain enchonte, which is like the red coloring and has like the flavoring in there. So, yeah, I was really happy to find this. Then I picked up one of these, um, just thing of shredded cheese. This is the four cheese Mexican. So I'm going to use these to make my batalillos. Then this is optional. Some people put them in your um, sofrito. You don't have to. Usually... Um, the recipe I do has other stuff, but it doesn't have these. But I decided to put these in there. 
mixed with the sweet Italian peppers and all the other ingredients I'm going to show you. I'm going to do this with the sofrito because um, I don't have um, cilantro. Like I said, I don't like cilantro. And since I bought a lot of the stuff, um, I figured I could just add these in there. So these are really good. So I got red and green peppers. I got a thing of Diet Pepsi. I picked up this thing of Clorox Franganzia. This is the one I like. It's the Island Orchid or whatever it's called. It smells really, really good. I usually like the Rainforest one. They don't sell that anymore. It's like a refreshing green one. But this still, sells, this still st smells good. So I picked up one thing of dried oregano. They also had a little thing of dried cilantro. And I was going to use the cilantro for the, um, for the sofrito, like sprinkle. Just very little in there just to give it a little kick. But, um, yeah, I don't like cilantro, so... I picked up oregano, so this is for other dishes, because later on I'm going to be showing you how to make beni and other different Puerto Rican dishes. So anyway, I just got oregano. Then I got this dish soap. This is from Mexico. This is Anxion, and this is um, a cream dish soap. And um, it has vitamin E and like wheat germ in it, like oats and stuff. It's a creamy, really good dish soap. So I picked one up. I got a big thing of 2% milk. I got another big pack again of the Noir Sasson. And this is the one I like. And this one has the more coloring in it. It has culantro, anato seeds, and coriander in it. Um, these are the little seeds that I was talking about. It's called anato and chonte seeds. You can see these in your grocery store. You put these in a little bit of oil. Not olive oil. You can use regular oil. And just simmer it very low. The coloring will slowly come out of the enchonte seeds and go into the oil to make the oil red and that's what we use a lot in our Latin cooking and then you just strain the seeds and throw them away and put the, the colored oil in a container separate and you can use that for flavoring a lot of your you know Hispanic cooking so anyway I like the sazon the nor so I picked that up I got a big thing right here of garlic they're already peeled and everything I'm just gonna wash them really good clean these these are for the sofrito and then I bought two packs of these. They have them in Puerto Rico. These are like the little... How do you explain it in English? I don't know. They're like... Um, there's something... Not tamatillos, like in Mexico. These are like little peppers. Like little sweet type of peppers. They come in yellow. Some come in red. And they have green. Um, one of these packs have a little bit of orange in them. But that's okay. That's how they look. Some are orange and red and green. Um, but most of these are green. So if you can see, so you cut the stems, I'll clean them. I'll show you that later. I'm going to do these for sofrito. I thought about making the sofrito for a while, so I'm going to do the video. Um, sofrito, so I don't have to keep buying it. And it actually tastes better, it's more fresher. And you have a huge amount, so you can make a lot of your food all day long, and it'll last longer. And then the last thing I picked up was this huge thing of canela rice. This is the rice I mainly use. They also have a 50-pound bag. They also have a 100-pound bag. And it's huge. Um, they have even 100-pound bags of dried beans. They have everything there. Uh, it's extremely heavy, but um, I didn't pick that up. I just picked up the 20-pound bag because rice goes quick. And I like to make a lot of um, Puerto Rican and Mexican food with rice. So that's why I picked it up again. So I have a lot of rice in my house. I have, like, over 500 pounds right now of rice stocked up in my pantry. So I'm good. So anyway... Thanks for watching this quick Hispanic grocery haul. Stay tuned for more videos. Let me put all this stuff away. I'm going to be doing some videos in a little bit. I'm going to do sofrito and I'm going to do some cooking. And um, yeah, stay tuned for those. And give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. And I will talk to you all guys later. Have a good day, guys. Bye.